Step 2.3 Creating a semi-pitched roof with the help of the ghost story. Let's continue the project design by adding a semi-pitched roof to the building with wide overhangs. This is supported by columns to create a south-facing veranda at the front. The contents of remote stories can be made visible on the active story by using the ghost story feature. Let's switch on and configure the ghost story display first since it will be necessary to see the columns on the floor below. In the ghost story options we can define the type of project elements displayed and also their color. Just make sure that only the walls, columns, slabs and roofs are shown as ghost story elements. The ghost story is a great support function since it helps to create, edit and coordinate the vertical alignment of elements across stories. And it's safe to use as the elements of the ghost story cannot be edited, but they can be used as snap points in constructing new elements. Let's activate the Roof tool now and load the Roof01 preset properties from Favorites. Make sure the Rectangular Geometry method is selected in the info box. We are going to construct a semi-pitched roof on the upper level while displaying the position of the columns on the floor below with the help of the ghost story. First, let's draw the roof pivot line along the external edge of the southern horizontal wall. Then let's define the direction of its slope with the eye-shaped cursor. Finally, we can build the geometry of the roof with the help of the construction grid and pavement slab beneath. Let's switch to the 3D window to see the results in a perspective projection.